Hey everyone, welcome back to Control. Last time, we got the Blackrock Prison we were after, so I figured we'd just head straight to Executive and hand it over to Marshall, who's waiting for us right over here. Any word on survivors? We've located numerous safe rooms with survivors inside. We're waiting on HRAs before we open them. Once we can safely bring them out, survivors will be escorted here straight away. Wonderful. Keep me updated. I had to take a detour into the quarry, but I found plenty. Here. We will start HRA production immediately. I promised I'd tell you about Dylan once you helped us. This is it. She knows. Seventeen years I've waited. Your brother is here. He was once known as Prime Candidate Six. Codename P6. We brought him here after the ordinary event. He was groomed to be the future director. He had towns far beyond any other candidate in the program. Of course he did. We found you together. We share a bond. Are you with him now? So you kidnapped him. We took him in. Your parents vanished along with every other adult in Ordinary. Eventually, his power changed him. There were casualties. He wasn't fit to be the director. Did you know about this? Is this why you didn't bring me here sooner? Were you keeping me away? Where is Dylan? He's kept in the containment sector, in the Panopticon. My brother. I thought we were the same. What if we are? I'm going. Now. I expected as much. I need to go check on something. Something I cannot let the Hiss find. It shouldn't take long, but you must watch the Bureau while I'm gone. And remember, Dylan is dangerous. Do not let him out, Director Faden. How do I make her stop calling me that? I'm not here for them. Nothing simple here. These people took my brother, but they've accepted me without question. Are they my enemies or my friends? I need to see Dylan. I need to know. I wish you could tell me what you know, explain things. Just stay with me, okay? I could use a friend right now. Seems like maybe he knows we're coming. And I also got a new hotline call suppose most of the time I don't really look at those immediately, but this might be a good idea to look into it. Because this one comes from the board, and it's short. You might notice they're a little bit behind on their tutorials. Anyway, while I'm here, I'm going to check in with Emily. Yeah, I gave it to you already. I think at this point, she would normally tell me about Underhill if I hadn't found her already. I visited the quarry. What's the plan for all that black rock? The Bureau has used Blackrock almost exclusively for containment purposes. See, I say, branch out. Instead of boxes, helmets. Instead of blast shields, knives. Knives? Yes, knives. So many combat applications. Slicing, stabbing, gouging. 
sorry. I've been trying to get Darling to explore combat applications for years. I've got a little excited. Wow. I did not expect that from her. This place is looking good. Arish is making real progress around here. Right? This place is a fortress. And with him taking care of operations here, I can spend more time analyzing the Hiss. I've been attempting to isolate and neutralize the Hiss resonance in blood samples, but no luck so far. So you can't reverse it? Not yet, but perhaps reversing it is too simple. See, if Hiss resonance can rewrite human genetics, then perhaps it's a question of rewriting the Hiss resonance. In theory, that could pave the way for custom human genetic alteration. I wonder how often the phrase mad scientist is used around here. How is HRA production coming along? <laughs> Better than expected. We've already made enough to get people out of a couple safe rooms. And they're here, alive, thanks to you. And we never would have lasted this long if you hadn't walked in those doors. You deserve thanks too, of course. We got this place up and running together, Emily. I should be going. Enjoy your data. Oh, I will. Yeah, I get the feeling I wasn't supposed to have those conversations quite yet. In the meantime, some people commented on something I said in the last video about how it seemed like Darling was keeping Emily away from dimensional research because he didn't think she'd approve. And people said that, in fact, she'd probably be too eager to get into something like that, and he wanted to keep her at a safe distance so she wouldn't be hurt. And that makes a lot more sense to me. It's ridiculous. Pope's grasping at straws. Why? If hiss is a frequency, then why couldn't it vibrate molecules in order to alter human physiology? It would explain the hair loss. Think about it. The precision that would require is unthinkable. Alright, so we need to go down to containment. Wait a second. Was that there before? I'm pretty sure I've already listened to that. Uh, actually, before I go anywhere, I'd better confirm it. I know what's on that tape recorder, so if it shows up in my collectibles... It doesn't. Okay, so that has just appeared there out of nowhere. Alright, well, let's go listen to it then. This is Lynn Salvador, head of Bureau of Security. I'm making a formal security order due to the incident in April, case number 21HQ593. Improper use of the jukebox altered item led to two fatalities. We believe a pair of agents used the jukebox to travel to the quarry threshold and engage in inappropriate workplace behavior. An expedition team found them decomposing at the formation's base a week later. At least we found out the jukebox doesn't bring corpses back when the song ends. I'm having the jukebox placed in a secure location in the executive sector. It should never have been accessible to low clearance staff in the first place. The new location security and proximity to a high traffic area will prevent misuse while still allowing for expedition teams to access it when required. See me for any further details. I think that's the first we've actually heard from Salvador. And now we know at least something of the significance of this jukebox that's locked up. We still can't get to it. I guess we're too low-level staff to access the jukebox. But with that done, I realize that I could simply use the control point to get to containment, but I want to go back in through the entrance just to see if anything has changed now that we've actually been directed to come here. It's also a good chance to potentially get into some fights and collect some materials. And oh yes, I've got a couple of countermeasures to meet here. Ooh. 
not that I think there's going to be any shortage of enemies in my near future. But if I can take care of it early, then why not? Nothing too difficult at this point, I don't think, although I've been playing the AWE DLC a bit too much recently, so I'm used to having an endgame powered up character with lots and lots of energy and the ability to just throw everything over and over again. I need to get used to only having enough energy for three launches. That's right, I wanted to look at these trees. There is nothing special about them whatsoever. They're just trees. I don't even know offhand what type of trees. That reminds me, we got some ability points for turning in the Blackrock Prism. I could certainly go for more launch power at this point, or more energy, honestly, but I want to finish the Seas Tree. Just because I'm so close to the reason that I've been putting all my points into it. And with that, I've also unlocked my third mod slot, which means that I can put on as much as I'm ever going to be able to. Might as well clear out some lower level ones that are no good anymore. The interesting thing is, I could almost see a case for putting on two Seas Speed upgrades. I'm pretty sure they stack that way, but let's go for extra shield strength for now. I think that's going to be a lot more useful in the near future. And I don't know why I haven't gotten any better damage boost mods. For some reason, it just seems to be so rare. Better grouping efficiency for spin, though. Top notch. Always want to go for that. I think everything else is probably about as good as it's going to be. And oh yeah, there's another new feature that came out in the latest patch. I can filter to just the collectibles that I haven't yet seen which will make it a lot easier to find them in the list. And it also occurs to me that there was a level 5 door somewhere. But before that, I'm putting a priority on going back to see Ati, because I know he has more missions available. They just haven't been showing up when I was expecting them to. The sector has flown to pussy splinters. The work won't end even if you keep doing it. Alright, I don't know if I want to know the origin of that metaphor. They are very good listeners. You can tell them anything. Or you can sing to them. They like that. Okay, finally! We get a new mission. It is just talking to plants, and no, there isn't anything trickier to it than that. But still, it's something we need to do. And it's also something we want to do. Let's do it. Dylan can wait. I just remembered where there's another level 5 door that I really, really need to open. Can't believe I forgot this one. This is the big one. This is the Luck and Probability Lab, where they're studying the effects of all sorts of good luck charms and rituals. 
I guess the results seem kind of inconclusive, but, you know, you get what you get. So they've got a roulette table set up here, and all the chips are on seven. So let's give it a try. Well, that's pretty rotten luck. All right, well, we'll try again. This building is falling apart. Well, you gotta get it eventually. I guess that fire extinguisher has just passed its due date. But yeah, things are going to keep going wrong over and over again if I keep spinning this wheel. But at least I can play with all the desk lamps. There we go. Now the room is a lot brighter. And it's been a one. And the sprinklers are going off again. So yeah, this is legitimately a puzzle. We need to meet as many of these conditions as we can to get better luck. Well, I know where at least some of those things are. The lucky horseshoe is pointed up, as it should be. And of course, I absolutely have to activate the cat. Kitty! Plus, there's this four-leaf clover I didn't take with me before. And the bronze koi statue. This is good for luck. And according to the board, it needs to be... What was the distance? Less than two feet from the table. So, that should be sufficient. Let's see if I am any luckier. Nope, the copy machines have exploded, as has another fire extinguisher. But we spun a four. The number is actually the number of luck conditions that we meet. And here's a more comprehensive list of exactly what those items are. Yeah, I'm not sure how much of that I'm willing to believe, but eh, this is the Bureau of Control. I also forgot to put the clover on the table. That might help. And another sprinkler. Getting a little tired of that. I mean, I could just solve the puzzle, but there's an outcome that I'm actually hoping is going to happen. More copiers. No, excuse me, I gotta get the phone. Ah, just missed him. Alright, so one more consideration is that if we are standing on the carpet, that appears to be bad luck. So if I spin the wheel and then step off the carpet, we win! And we get some more ability points and a golden suit, which I'll put on the next time I make it to executive. But more importantly, two ability points, which is enough to get the prize that I've been after all this time. Just need to deal with a couple of not particularly threatening enemies. And interestingly enough, the ability that I'm going for wouldn't even have helped with that fight. But I still want it. It's still 
pretty much the greatest thing ever. No hesitation this time, I'm going straight to seize large enemies. So now, pretty much anything that isn't a boss, I can control using the X-Ray Lightbox power. And one more ability point would be nice, so let me just pop into this secret area real quick. The game actually kind of forces you to go here later, but for now it's just worth that extra ability point so I can buy something else. And hey, yeah, the uh, intrusive pattern text has been fixed. I probably pointed that out before. Nothing written on the whiteboard. I was kind of hoping. Alright, so, plants. I remember that there's one near the sector elevator. And the rest are just kind of around central research. Talk to the plants. Small talk was never really my strong suit. At least they can't talk back. I... Hope your day has been productive, little plant. <laughs> that really works, huh? And doesn't it just feel so much better? Uh, no plants to talk to down here, but they do have some more of those trees that were in the logistics area. I'm probably going to see those all over the place now, aren't I? Might be able to jump up to that window, actually. Probably not. I hope those nasty hiss haven't been bothering you too much. Mm, may as well give it a try. No. Nope. I thought I was going to land on the balcony. But at least it wasn't a fatal fall. And I think that's another plant. I wish my leaves were as pretty as yours. And there should be another right around the corner. Do you have a family? I have a brother. I miss him a lot. And I don't see any dying plants in here. That's the radio. There's one. They say I'm the director, but what does that mean? I have no experience in leadership roles. I have no on-the-job training. Yeah, Ati helpfully left his cart there to mark that one. Not too worried about the maintenance mission just yet. Although, I have been putting off a lot of these bureau alerts. I should really do some. There's the last plant. Your chlorophyll really brings out the green in your leaves. That's all of them. But I kind of wish there were more. They're good listeners. Got a new C's accelerator. Pretty sure it's not as good as what we've got. And I don't believe that Ati would possibly have more missions for us now. So more launch damage would be nice. And I'd like to get more shield strength, because there's another ability that I really want to unlock. Yeah, admittedly, I could use more energy. But... In light of getting more stuff that'll be useful, let's go ahead and take on this Hiss Node mission. Hiss Nodes and Maintenance are at the upper level of the power plant. And who knows, we might find a large hiss that I can seize.
If not, we'll just find all the nodes on the outside of the power core here. There we go, there's one on the control panel. And it made a complete circuit. I don't think there is... Oh, yeah, there's more up there. I can't get to that yet. I don't think there's a staircase to get down from this level to the next one below. I think I'm gonna have to jump. Because all the rest of the hiss nodes will be further down. I want to make sure there isn't one on this level before I drop. Ah, and there is. But for whatever reason, this completely open area appears to be a solid wall. Alright, I can shoot it from here. Just barely. And that's the extent of that direction, so down one level, there's another node right under me. And I think I only need one more to clear the mission. Oh, there's Hiss! I didn't know if there were going to be any enemies here. Not that I mind entirely. But it's nice when they at least pretend to give you a bit of challenge for your reward. And there's the last node above me. No idea how I missed that. Okay, it's on the other side of this pipe. I guess if I went up and then drop down on the far side of the pipe, I could get to it that way. Probably better than running all the way around. But... Want to play it safe, especially if somebody's shooting at me. And I think there is another node below me. Although I might just be seeing the red from the enemy. Nope, nope, that's a node. Kinda wonder if they're reappearing or something. But the clear criterion for this mission is just destroy a bunch of them. If they came back, that would make things too easy. Well, I hear the combat music, but I don't see any other enemies. So I guess I'll just head to the control point. And get back to what we were doing. There we go. I need to look my best when I meet Dylan. And Marshall is already gone. Arish was supposed to show up here, but I haven't seen him. Hope wants us to compile all of Darling's data entries from the past month. She wants us to crack Darling's personal logs? He'll crucify us if he finds out. Who does she think she is authorizing that kind of data breach? She must think he's hiding something. And I agree. The HRAs alone are proof Darling knew more than he let on. I don't know whether I had heard that conversation before, but worth listening to anyway. So let's see, where was the level 5 door in containment? Think it was in the sealed corridor? But it's not in this office. Didn't miss anything in there. Yeah, there aren't any other offices in that direction. 
And I don't want to deal with these guys, so let's just get out of here. It's the only reason I kept that in and didn't just cut it, because that final bit where they're ready to explode is... I thought it was pretty amusing. Don't see any level 5 doors here either, so I clearly went to the wrong wing. Alright, it's definitely on this side. And there it is. And yeah, the his charge that followed us. Alright, we'll just deal with them again. It's it's contributing to my countermeasure, so I can't complain too much. More of them? Another wave. Alright, let's just take care of the stuff in this room. Got a report from Lisa Keenum. Pretty sure we've seen her name on some of the other documents about AWE investigations. I'll have to look into exactly what else she's written. And there's a chest here and a charge behind me. And not a whole lot of room in this tiny space to dodge the explosions, so... I'm glad I put on the shield strength, because it's really holding up under all the explosions. They're gonna have to keep coming eventually, but eh, I don't know, I'll kill them at least until I've got the countermeasure. I don't even know what hit it, because the whiteboard I threw didn't. I think there's just one more of them up there, and I can't really shoot it from this angle. Now they're coming from outside. Alright, we good? We good. Admittedly, I've been going for a while, but... I do want to get someplace new in this one. Sadly, the security checkpoint is still locked aside from that one broken gate. But when we got the message from Marshall about Dylan being in the Panopticon, the medical wing opened. It was blocked over by a mold growth before. Now we can get through. And I can get by with a little help from my friends. There's really not a whole lot of reason for me not to just sit back and let the allies handle it. I hear his charge, but I don't see anyone. So anyway, we've got a level 6 security door here. Still finding things we can't get into after all this time. And it sounds like my ally has just taken out that his charge. Ah, I should have thrown a wheelchair at one of them and said, take a seat. Eh. You miss all the opportunities you don't take. Maybe someday. The medical wing at least looks surprisingly normal. 
once I can read the sign here. You know, it occurs to me that it can't be more than about 10 years when people will look back at this game and say, there's no way it came out in 2019. It had to be 2020. The commentary about the pandemic and people washing their hands is just too spot on. Meanwhile, we can now get into security through the back way, because all the gates are broken in security. I guess this is more of an access corridor. More level 6 doors and mold spores holding the gate closed. This place doesn't look too friendly, but at least the mold here isn't going to hurt me. The mold hosts, on the other hand, I want to get the drop on. Headshots with Pierce, definitely the way to go. So yeah, eating the mold, bad news. And yeah, I just spotted the chest to my left. I didn't catch it on the way through, but we'll be back before too long and I'll pick it up then. Meanwhile, this is kind of a tricky point in the game because there are a bunch of these mold guys and they are not as strong as the ones in the research sector, but they're pretty dangerous. So definitely want to take advantage of the ability to turn them against each other as much as I can, especially since that's another countermeasure. And if I can kill at least a couple of them myself, then I get a new reward and a new mission. And I gotta take this guy out from range. But this specimen container seems to have fallen right across the door. And I don't have enough telekinesis power to move it. I got through somehow. Uh, right in time to be attacked by yet another mold host. Fortunately, the shield barrage seems to have done a ton of damage. Or it was really weak for some other reason. Hey, a hole in the wall! I think I will. Eh, nothing great, but eh, every little bit helps. And these are pretty clearly decontamination showers. Don't know what the space in the middle used to be, but I'm certain there's one more mold host in here. There it is. All right, come on back. Take a shelving unit to the face, please. All right. I took care of it eventually. I think this room would be easy to overlook if there weren't mold hosts in it. And I don't like the way that is shaking. Kindly stop. I 
All right, that's it for the medical wing, I think. Don't believe there are any more documents lying around. It's really just a way to get into security by going around it. Got another access tunnel here. More remote thoughts. Those are always good. And up to security and the Panopticon. I think we need to get to that panel in the center, but my first priority is to get to the far side of the room and open the gates. Okay, maybe that wasn't the smartest idea, but it does mean that it's a lot easier to get from logistics to security. I don't know what some of the weird stuff is going on. What, more treasures? Charge blast boost will actually be pretty nice. And let's go ahead and see what's on this panel. That doesn't look very secure. P6 is what the Bureau calls Dylan. His cell's been breached. Has the Hiss found him? Are you there with him? Can you protect him? No confirmation. Yeah, we'll head to the other parts later, but let's look around. It's another hole in the wall. I didn't know this was here. I mean, there's probably nothing particularly special in here, but... Wow. Finding all sorts of cool stuff. It's really only one thing of interest around, and it's this training room. August fourth, nineteen sixty-four. Yeah, one subtitles. Oldest house, while investigating a suspected altered world event case in the New York City subway tunnels, the agents found their way up into the building. Once we became aware of it, it was there. For the rest of the population, it was hiding in plain sight, a, a slippery blind spot, seemingly discouraging observation. It's a, a place of power, an ongoing AWE of its own, seemingly adhering to its physical outer constraints, and yet constantly breaking the known boundaries of reality. It's, it's unstable, shifting. Note. For more details on control points and the research and process to stabilize and secure the core sectors, refer to a separate presentation. After extensive research and investigation, the Bureau made the building its headquarters on November 13th, 1968. The Federal Bureau of Control was never out in the open. This, this was always an obfuscated, classified top secret operation. So imagine our surprise when the building's observation resistant aspects began in some unquantifiable way to affect the Bureau as a whole. All right, admittedly that wasn't the best viewing angle, but I really wanted to have the subtitles on. So I'll rewatch it at the end of the video. Meanwhile, there are some things to pick up. And otherwise, it just seems to be a classroom with monitors at all the desks for whatever reason. And there is at least one document here.
I want to believe that there's some significance to the name Tanrelio appearing on this globe, like it's an alternate Earth, and that name corresponds to something on our Earth. Like, if you turn it backwards, it looks like it could be the, you know, part of the name, like, Boiler Natural Forest Reserve or something like that. It's also an anagram of the word Oriental, but no idea what it's really about. Don't know if I ever knew this room was here, either. It's not really hidden, it's just kind of tucked into a corner. Don't expect to find anything more of interest in this area, but... Can't hurt to be thorough. No idea who that is. Alright, and that pretty well covers the security department. Surprise no hiss attack while I was here. Okay. Something's clearly happening in that room. It reminds me a little bit of that America Overnight radio show when the guy was talking about being trapped under the bed. But there's not a lot we can do. We can't get into that room. So let's get into the rooms and figure out what the puzzle is. I, I think... I know what the puzzle involves here. And the key is on the desk, but we can't reach it. Don't even think I can jump while I'm in here. Nothing out of the ordinary in room two. Oh, here we go. The painting is upside down. No, I don't think I'll be doing hiss nodes again. Thought I saw something to pick up there, but I believe I was just seeing the hot spot for the painting from behind. There we go. Now everything's right side up. All is as right with the world as it ever gets in the Ocean View Motel and Casino. So, back to containment and the Panopticon. It's been a long time since Dylan and I knew each other. I've wondered about him, what kind of man he'd grow up to be, were things as hard for him as they were for me, maybe in here. They were even harder. I'm sorry, I had to let him finish. I love this guy. Oh, hello. Is there something I can help you with? I'm Jesse, the new director. I need to get inside. New director? Right, uh, 
Well, okay, hello, I'm Frederick Langston, the Panopticon Supervisor. It's not the best time for a tour. We have hiss everywhere, numerous cell breaches, and system failures across the board, but you're the director, so here we go. Founded by Zachariah Trench, the Panopticon is our state-of-the-art repository for all altered we items. I don't have time for this. Power and I was told Dylan Faden was kept here. Can you help me find him? Faden? Uh, sure. Darling wanted him somewhere secure and isolated away from people. He's in the maximum security cells, upper level. But there's currently a, uh, a pressing matter, ma'am. We've got an object of power loose in there, and it's wrecking the place. The Benikoff TV, it's, uh, it's a real doozy. Salvador took a team in to handle it, but no one's heard from them for hours. This is a Category 5 OOP we're talking about, and if we don't contain it soon, it will tear the Panopticon apart. And we don't want all those altered items getting loose, ma'am. No, trust me. Dylan's in there. Open the door, Langston. I'll handle it. If you say so. Uh, I usually tell first-timers not to touch anything, so, uh, just do that. Here, I'll get the door for you. And please, ma'am, call me Fred. Thanks, Langston. He is the most precious cinnamon roll there ever was. ...helpful actions to assist in mitigating a crisis. Would you like me to list them for you? No. What's your guy's deal? And I could hang around here forever and just listen to these three talk. But I won't. You remember the collectible thermoses in Alan Wake? Turns out that's actually an altered item. And nobody really seems to know exactly what it does or why you had to collect them. Well, I'd say making coffee taste good is a pretty amazing power as it is. All right, we'll leave the Three Stooges for a bit. Numerous cell breaches on every level. These hiss things are a bad influence on my collection. His collection. Yeah, I'm going to come back to talk to him. An Opticon. Dylan's close. But that object of power might wreck this place before I find him. This has just gone on for way too long as it is, so... We'll go back and talk to Langston next time. In the meantime, I'm going to collect my rewards. And I think killing things with shatter and abilities should be pretty easy. Plus, that's where I am. I don't have to go all the way back to research to meet them. And I can also finally construct charge. Upgrading Shatter might not be a bad idea if I'm going to be using it, but nah, gotta have a new weapon. And I can already get it to level 2, and none of the others, so why not? Our first experience with Charge will be at level 2. But I'll work out what mods to put onto it later. This is way too long a video for me, so... I'll see you next time, and I'll also review the Dr. Darling video then.